The primary school curriculum at the British International School of Houston draws on best practice from around the world. In order for us to work together to transform the lives of our students, we have two very clear goals for our early years and primary school children. In early years, our goal is to create the best possible foundations for learning. So it's about looking at all of those building blocks and how they come together to form a solid foundation. In primary school, we then use that solid foundation to really help your children thrive by creating the best opportunities for children to grow. So let's begin by talking a little bit about the curriculum that we follow for our youngest learners, our early years one and two students. And this curriculum begins when our students are three years old. And we follow the early years foundation stage framework, which is used in England. And this sets out really clear developmental benchmarks and learning goals for children up to five years old. Within the Early Years Foundation Stage Framework, there are seven areas of learning, and these are split into three prime areas and four specific areas. The prime areas are really key developmental skills that all children need to develop in order for them to then become successful learners. They are communication and language, physical development, and personal and social and emotional development. And the early years team will really be able to talk with parents in depth about what the key benchmarks are and the age-related expectations. And as our young learners develop their capabilities within the three prime areas of learning, we can then shift our focus to helping them develop in the four specific areas of learning. These are literacy, maths, understanding the world, and expressive arts and design. Underpinning all seven areas of learning is a play-based approach and this allows children to lead their own play and also engage in adult guided play. We make great use of our learning environment. Children are playing outside at various points throughout the day and this ensures that learning is active and engaging. Carefully planned provocations and learning stimuli allow us to help your children explore their creativity and really ignite their curiosity and encourage them to ask great questions about the world around them. Throughout early years one and early years two, children are assessed against a range of developmental milestones and these span all seven areas of the early years foundation stage framework. Our early years team track each child's progress carefully and will be periodically sharing this information and discussing it with parents to ensure that all of our children have a really great foundation for learning as they move into the primary school. So once we have that really strong foundation, the goal of our teams in years one to six really is to help children grow. And just as in the early years foundation stage programme, we not only help children grow academically, but also socially and emotionally. So we really do educate the whole child our academic curriculum for years one to six is based on the English national curriculum and the international primary curriculum. The early years foundation stage framework really does uh, link beautifully with our national curriculum subjects. So in the primary school we use the national curriculum framework as our expected standards um, for each year group for English, which is split into reading and writing, maths and science. The ideal platform for our interdisciplinary approach is the International Primary Curriculum. The IPC has learning goals across eight subject areas and our teachers plan units of learning that incorporate learning goals from across a range of subjects. Each unit of learning has a distinctive start to it. So there is an entry point and also in knowledge harvest. And these are really great opportunities for our teachers to glean from the children what existing understandings that they already have about a subject. We do not assume that children are just empty vessels waiting for us to fill them with knowledge. And it's important for us to understand exactly what they know already about a subject or a theme. Entry points are like uh, big bang moments which ignite excitement and a buzz about the unit of learning ahead. 
as students work through a unit of learning, they engage in activities that develop their knowledge, skills and understanding. And they conduct research using a range of ways of recording their ideas and their findings. Each unit of learning then culminates in an exit point which is a really wonderful way and an opportunity for the children to share their learning and demonstrate their understandings. Your child's progress towards uh, and against the national curriculum standards and also their IPC learning goals is tracked throughout the school year. This is reported to you formally three times a year using our academic report using the seven to one grading scale and also the IPC assessment descriptors, which are beginning, developing and mastering. You will receive this report three times a year. However, I highly encourage that you reach out to your child's class teacher at any point during the year if you would like to discuss their progress or if you have any concerns at all. And likewise, if we have any concerns, we'll get in touch with you um, we'll arrange to meet, we'll talk about how best we can support your child. So it really is a two-way process for communication. The other areas of our academic curriculum are world languages, music and performing arts, physical education and design thinking. And these are taught by our team of whole school specialist teachers. Our academic curriculum is fully mapped out using Atlas Rubicon. This allows you to see at any point in the school year exactly what your child will be learning. It maps out the national curriculum objectives or the IPC learning goals that are covered in each unit and explains the key concepts and skills that will be addressed. So you really can take a deep dive into our curriculum at any point. In the year group sessions later today, each year team will share with you key end of year outcomes for your child in all of the core curriculum subjects and these really are overarching statements of intent which describe the academic destination for your child in each subject. Again all of the detail is on Atlas for you to look at at any time and please watch Mr Franklin's video which is a quick guide for parents to navigate the Atlas platform. I hope that the sessions today are useful and that you use the question and answer portion of the session to find more about your child's academic year ahead. Thank you for listening.